Greetings, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Summer Reading Challenge 2020. In the Diocese of Liverpool, we're called to read, and this year, for the next six weeks, we're going to be reading the Book of Psalms together. The Psalms are the hymn book and the prayer book of the temple and of the church. In these 150 songs, the psalmist explores a whole range of human experience, all its highs and lows, human life lived in the presence of God, and sometimes in the experience of the apparent absence of God too. In the Psalms, God speaks through these experiences of the human condition, and he reveals himself in his past acts of salvation and in his future promises. It's a wonderfully rich book. I hope if you already use the Psalms in your Bible reading and prayer, these weeks will renew your love and perhaps offer you some new perspectives. If you don't already use the Psalms, I hope this will be the beginning of a relationship with this deep and powerful section of God's Word. Psalms is quite a long book, so this reading challenge will have three different tracks, depending how much you want to read. In track one, there will be two Psalms each week, short enough to read in a few minutes. If you have time during the week, you may want to read and reflect on these two Psalms each day, living with them, letting them become familiar during the week. Each Wednesday and Friday, different members of the Summer Reading Challenge team will be offering a response to these two Psalms of the week. In track two, we'll offer you a new Psalm for each day, including the two Psalms from track one. So you'll end up reading about a third of the Psalms overall. In track three, you'll read the whole Psalter in order, all 150 Psalms. And we've broken track three into morning and evening parts, so that you can use these psalms in morning and evening prayers each day. You can jump from track to track, or of course you can take things at your own pace. You can read the psalms in any Bible or prayer book you like, but below this post and every Monday I'll give you links to texts online and to YouTube if you'd rather listen to the psalms being read. I hope you will let the Word of God dwell richly in you through this challenge. May you be blessed as you read and respond to his call.